Greetings everyone. My name is Nistrid Sriram and I'm Sakshat Rao and this is Slam Nambiar and we are representing NITK Suratkal from India as undergraduate students and today we're very excited to be here and share our recommendations on how Teach for America can optimize their offer assignment process to enable maximum number of people contributing towards TFE's goal of achieving educational equity. To start off, we'll present a brief overview of TFA's mission and how potential teachers referred to as core members are evaluated, shortlisted, and made offers. We then move on to identifying our goals and priorities and coming up with data-driven recommendations. Children growing up in disenfranchised communities lack access to resources and opportunities and attend schools that are not equipped to meet all their needs. This is known as educational inequity. Teach for America is powered by a diverse network of leaders who confront educational inequity by teaching for at least two years and then working with unwavering commitment from every sector of society to create a nation free from this injustice. Let us now understand how candidates are selected. Firstly, interested applicants are evaluated through resumes, essays, and interviews. TFA then shortlists potential core members. These candidates then enter their preferences using which TFA then makes them offers. However, as can be seen, almost 10,000 candidates get offers from TFA, but only 53% of the core members fulfill their commitment. We notice that ensuring a positive experience throughout the program is as important as giving them an irrefutable offer so that more people contribute towards TFA's goal. Starting off our data analysis, we notice that not every applicant can get their first preferences, which might lead to the disappointment. To quantify the same, we define a dispersion metric. If candidates are offered their preferred regions and subject, for example, first or second rank, then the dispersion should be low, which is desirable. By analyzing correlations, we deduce these two functions as the most significant predictors for offer acceptance. It is very interesting to notice that the dispersion resulting from the region preference mismatch maximizes and flattens after top five preferences, implying offering applicants one of the top five region preferences can improve the chances of them accepting the offer. Also, in cases where candidates cannot be offered the top region preference, they can be nudged by offering the first preference subject in any possible region, which would lower their dispersion. We also computed the relative importance of different features, but we noticed that features, depending on the offer, reduce in importance over time implying that how TFA makes offers to the applicants might only affect the decision to accept it. But in order to be satisfied in the long run, other aspects of the job like finances, climate, etc., needs to be emphasized while they make their preference. Thus, we have two main goals. Firstly, to improve the core member satisfaction by stepping in before the preference entry. And secondly, to optimize offer distribution before finally assigning the offers. And to do this, we recommend the following. To improve satisfaction, TFA can make data driven recommendations to candidates. On the other hand, to optimize offers, we would later introduce a multivariate optimized offer distribution system. So, first, let's talk about improving core member satisfaction. To understand which applicants to make recommendations to, we firstly define two metrics called willingness and unwillingness. Willingness represents a scenario where an applicant's top preferences have not been offered, but the applicant is still willing to work with TFA. The unwillingness metric represents a scenario where even after being offered a high preference region and subject, the applicant still rejects the offer. After analyzing the correlations, we find three characteristics of the applicant to explain this behavior. How aligned the applicant is towards TFA's mission, how selective is the applicant's university, and most importantly, how much experience does the applicant have working in low-income communities. Based on the final point, we suggest TFA to organize some mentorship programs for high school and undergraduate students to mentor children from low-income communities. This aims to identify and nurture young talent who can potentially turn out to be highly willing applicants in the future. We also felt region familiarity to be a relevant factor for the applicants. If applicants can work near their current location, home, or university, the mere exposure effect prompts them to not only accept the offer, but also have a pleasant experience throughout. Now to understand which regions to recommend, we computed normalized scores representing how different regions are preferred by applicants and also offered by TFA. As shown, the regions which pose a problem are the ones with negative values, that is the red bars. These regions are the ones where TFA requires a lot of teachers, but not many applicants prefer them. 
Therefore, such regions need to be identified and prioritized by TFA beforehand so that TFA can nudge people towards such regions. Now, putting everything together, we can decide on the recommendations. We recommend the pre-identified high priority regions to two types of applicants. First, who are familiar with this region and second, who are estimated to be highly willing. On this slide, we demonstrate our proposed dashboard as seen by potential core members who are about to enter their preferences. We utilize well-established nudge theory concepts to assist members in making better choices. The users with high willingness are encouraged to look at the offer through the lens of a fresh start to take bold decisions and pursue new enriching experiences beyond their comfort zone and explore the suggested recommendations. We present a recommended list of default options to add to their preference list, which is created based on the on-ground requirements for teachers. We also bring in the priming effect through a new virtual tour feature where users are shown the student experiences from the local communities to shed light on student aspirations, ground realities, and existing support network in order to visualize the immensity of impact and their necessity at the given locality. We also suggest introducing an Alumni Connect feature, which provides an informational influence by utilizing social proof heuristics. After TFA is able to influence the candidate's preferences to ensure better satisfaction, the next priority is to use these preferences to make optimized offers. We are optimizing the offers based on two criteria. Firstly, that applicants get as high preferences as possible, which would minimize the displeasure. And secondly, while making new offers, we do not want to make major changes to the current region-wise offer distribution, since this distribution might reflect TFA's ground-level requirements. For this task, we propose a neural network trained using reinforcement learning as an end-to-end -end solution where we reward a network whenever it tries to match the current offer distribution and penalize it when it increases the displeasure among applicants. While training a model, it starts learning to take those actions which would minimize the displeasure while ensuring that the new offer distribution is similar to what we expect. As a result of our RL model, we obtain an optimal balance with a significant decrease in the displeasure value for an almost similar offer distribution. Consolidating all of our insights so far, we now present the recommended plan of action to assign the best offers to potential core members. After the evaluation process as conducted by the TFA, the list of potential core members to whom offers have to be made is obtained. Now TFA can use our recommendation algorithm to nudge candidates to make choices that result in acceptance and positive experience through matriculation. After collecting the preference list, the multivariate optimized offer distribution system can be used to assign the most appropriate offer suiting both TFA and the candidate's requirements. We hope that these recommendations will serve as valuable additions to help TFA make their onboarding process more holistic, optimized, and consistent, ultimately leading to more equitable education, academic, and personal growth of millions of students across America. Thank you.